What is up guys? This is Sean again with Stage of Media. Today we're doing a um, really simple video. Um, it's basically, I'm going to be working on the door handles. Uh, in the G35, they have these like, uh, which a lot of cars, depending on the cars that you do get, has like these like door handle inserts. And um, you know, the G35 obviously is no different. It has, you know, on both sides, the front uh, driver and passenger have these detachable, you know, ins kind of like plasticky type of inserts. They paint them usually like a metal finish or anything like that. And um, I'm going to be kind of adding the uh, the same wrap that you guys saw in the, the wrap that I put on the side of my fender. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna be doing that, you know, to kind of keep like a little bit of continuity going with the car. I don't want it to be, I kind of want it to all kind of cohesively come together. Um, and I, like I've said before, this is this is the evolution of the car. It's not gonna stay this way. It's probably gonna evolve maybe one or two more times after this. Um, I, mean, I am getting some new rims or wheels. <laughs> um, uh, the car is definitely getting some some overhaul done to it um in the in the next couple months so definitely stay tuned for that um and with that being said let's go ahead and get the video started let's go ahead and put these uh these uh this, this wrapping on the inserts you'll see how ratty it looks you know um and what's the difference it's gonna make uh i'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to to kind of get this started let's go Alright guys, I hope this is getting translated as best as possible. Um, Alright, so yeah, let's get it started, man. I got showed you guys basically what you need. Um, obviously, the last, uh, when I did the car, um, the side fender, I didn't really use it. I didn't really use the heat gun. I had it. I didn't use it. it was my first time doing rap on a car. Like, now, now that I look, now that I look back in hindsight, like, I, it probably would have been a little easier to kind of pull you know the the wrap you know to around the curves and stuff like that because certain creases would come up but you know it came out good for what it was i'm probably because i have a ton of this this sticker bomb wrap i probably might go back and kind of reintroduce the uh the wrap with the heat gun and stuff like that because obviously you know heating it up just enough to kind of make it a little more malleable a little more bendy would work so obviously a heat gun will work i got this from online for like I think 15 bucks so that'll work first thing let's go ahead and just start uh chopping this up I got a ton of this stuff when I ordered this I didn't realize I ordered so much um <laughs> I mean it came in like this big tube um but it's cool you know I got a lot of it you know I got enough to do even oh, wow even uh, another fender didn't want, didn't want to cut myself um, even another fender if I wanted to so that's cool um, but I won't do it I don't I want to kind of keep that one side the way it is and just kind of leave it like that you know what I mean um, all right so like we have this here try to get that in focus so I want to just try to get just a portion it doesn't have you want to definitely do more you want to cut more than what you need you know what I mean so it can wrap around the actual object. What I'm gonna do is probably do like a light trim around this. And I know at the top it kind of curves, so I'm gonna need that extra little bit to, uh, you know, to get around that corner like I need. You know, I'll leave that like that. I'm gonna actually cut this all the way to the edge cut that all the way to the edge so same thing with this again the first cut you know you want to measure it out you want to have your object that you're uh, that you're going to be using do this all right so that's kind of what we're looking at as you can see let's get that get that in focus it's gonna wrap around it like that 
all right so uh what we're gonna probably end up doing as well is let's go ahead and prep the uh the surface just kind of wipe off any any dust or anything like that that's on it oils or you know anything that can kind of stop the adhesive on the back of the wrap from not sticking you just kind of want to wipe it down nothing nothing crazy you, if you want you can go as far as putting even alcohol you know rubbing alcohol or something like that just to kind of get the surface you know as clean as possible I'll touch it with my with my fingers so all right I don't want to put any oils back on the uh, back on the panel all right so with that being said let's go ahead and start chopping kind of moving this around a little bit so what I want to do I've seen people do it a couple different ways I've seen people that looks shiny wow uh, putting it on like this and then kind of pulling it off as you go along I mean I guess I can try that but this has a curve to it I don't want to have to do well you know what let's just go ahead and go for it let's go for it let's go for it reason why you want to kind of do it that way because again your hands have like a, an oil you know it's it's a natural thing for your hands to have an, an oil to it right so you don't want to kind of contaminate the uh, the adhesive to and technically there is a glove I could be using for this it's like a uh, not really like a doctor's glove but it's like another type of glove that has almost like a cottony glove that helps kind of smooth out the edges um, I have it not really necessarily using it at the moment I mean again this is all trial and error I have a ton of this stuff so you know again I, I'm not a pro at this in the least I just like to I want to do stuff and I want to make things look good on my own you know what I mean so uh, that looks see like if you can see, I don't know if I can capture it in the in the camera or right there. All right, so that's a bubble, right? You know, that's those can get like I just did. I just smoothed it out with my fingertip. But what's gonna really help that out is when I start adding the and actually you can see it's almost starting to take shape already. It's kind of dope. So what I want to do, put it on low, heat gun. You don't want to bubble up you know the wrap or anything like that just kind of want to heat it up a little bit kind of get those bubbles out of there it's even starting to get a lot more stickier <laughs> as I as I apply the heat so that's kind of cool and it's areas that wasn't bubbling let you it kind of lets you know the imperfections but right there that looks nice you just kind of want to stretch it around the surface just kind of really stretch it around the surface see just kind of really get it pulling now that I think about it I really, <laughs> I really should have been using this uh, on the fender because it, it, it literally contoured itself to the the curves of the uh, the handle but I ain't tripping like I said I got a ton of this stuff I can literally do I could probably even do maybe a fender and maybe a hood if I if I really you know like if I really managed it a little bit like I could really do a hood if I needed to that's how much I that's how much of this stuff I got man so I'm not I'm not tripping about anything coming out crazy or me ripping the wrap or anything like that it's already it's already starting to take a shape areas like this like that has like see it, it, it feels like feels like nothing now like it feels literally I can pull this and get this around the corners that I needed to be able to be on so that's kind of dope I'm gonna 
get the back on this though because I'm feeling like it still feels a little stiff. So you really want to like unstiffen it. See, having that little bit of heat really gives it that uh that good feel. All right, so that's looking that's looking kind of nice. I mean. You know, the worst thing to happen if you do all this and then about a week later, because you know, you're constantly opening your door, constantly opening your door, you know, you don't want this to happen. Like it starts flapping up and stuff like that. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna start, you know, making sure that it can actually contour around. And guys, I'm only gonna do this, uh, this one this one door handle. I'm not gonna kinda go have you guys go through the whole process of another one. It's the same, same thing. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. See this little flat surface right here? This little edge? I want it to be right on top of that. Let me tell you something. If this is something you guys want to kind of get into when it comes to doing your cars and stuff, man, like, definitely invest in a heat gun. Like, <laughs> you, you would think, oh, I'm only going to use that like one or two times, man. And when you start getting into this car game, man, you start realizing, man, a heat gun is like stupid useful. Just, just works with everything. All right, so guys, I'm almost done here. I'm gonna kind of flex this around, make sure the edges aren't too creasy, you know what I mean? Because you're gonna get those creases, you know, you could be a perfectionist and be like, yeah, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna see any creases. But you're gonna see it at, you know, in certain parts. You just wanna eliminate it as much as possible. As you can see, it's already started to take shape. This is the handle, this is the door handle. All I gotta do is just cut off all these little edges with the, the blade. And we're all set. Look good to me. I mean, so yeah, at this point it's just clean up. You know, just kind of go through with your blade and just kind of, you know, start snipping away at stuff that you know you're not gonna, cause you don't want, you want it to be able to still close into the car. You know what I mean? You know, that's number one. So, you know, cut along the, uh, the creases edge. You know what I mean? You guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Cut along that crease edge just to make sure that the entire part that you want to cut off is being cut off, you know what I mean? And there we go. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I like it. You know, and obviously it's gonna go with the aesthetic of the car, it's the same wrap of the car so that's what you guys got to look forward to right there again i don't again it's it's the thing about cars man it's always good to be different so you know doing stuff like this to any car is is what it's about and i told you i'm i'm doing stuff that may be considered rice to my g i like it you know what i mean so if you like doing it if you like doing what you love and if you love your car do what you feel. Don't don't follow everybody else. Don't follow what everybody else is doing. Do what you want to do. Cause I've already mocked up how my car is gonna look in Photoshop. So <laughs> I got big plans. So that's it, guys. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like the uh, little small tutorial, and we all learned something. With that being said, guys, stay driven. One. <laughs>